Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday and welcome back to another weekly home fragrance roundup. If you are new around here, this video goes up most Saturdays here on my channel and it's just an opportunity for me to chit chat about all of the home fragrance that I was using around the house over the course of the past week. So what I was burning, what I was melting, what I was crocking, and what I was lamping. Um, I do all of this alongside my trusty assistant, Alf. You will hear him snoring in the background. Um, if you haven't met Alf, this is him. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do. Um, but he's, he's a dog. He's here in my lap. <laughs> this is Alf. Um, Alf is a pug and he is just my constant shadow. Sorry, I had to get the camera to focus there. Um, he is my constant shadow and he's cute. So I just I kind of let him do whatever he wants. And he just loves hanging out in my lap whenever I'm filming. So if you have earbuds in, you're probably gonna hear him a little bit more. Feel free to enjoy that pug ASMR. Um, before we get into all of the chit chat from this week, per usual, check out the description box. Lots of links down there, lots of information. Um, there is going to be uh, some information about candle sales that are happening this weekend. I just kind of post about the companies that I tend to frequent the most. Not every single candle company that there is. Um, there are discount codes down there. Um, there are links to where you can purchase anything that I'm mentioning in this video. There are also some links to some candle related videos that I have here on my channel that might be helpful. Um, there's some videos about um, candle hurricanes. There are some videos about um, what to do with troublesome candles. Um, there's also a candle crock and a candle lamp 101 video, which is great for those of you that are newer to both of those candle accessories. I also link my favorite crocks and lamps. Um, all of those I have had personally in my, you know, own collection, my accessory collection for a number of years at this point. So I know that these are great quality crocs and lamps. So if you're looking for any of those, check out the links down below. Um, yeah, the description box is usually a plethora of information, so feel free to check that out. Um, so uh, before we get into everything here, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look around at what is currently burning and what I have underneath my Crocs and uh, underneath my lamps, and then we will come back here and we will chit chat about everything else that I was burning and melting. Also, don't forget to let me know what you were burning and melting this week. In the comments down below, I always get really curious, especially around August, to see how many people are already transitioning to fall fragrances. <laughs> I'm just about there you guys honestly I think I'm within like a week or two of totally being over my summer candles I'm actually working really hard this week this coming week especially to finish up a lot of these summer candles that I still have going um, I'm not someone who likes to put candles away until the next year if you will um, I just hate going into my candle collection and pulling out a candle only to see that it has already been lit I don't know what it is about that I I just don't like it when I grab a candle out of my candle collection I want it to be fresh <laughs> so this farm stand peach needs to get finished up because I'm not putting her away until next spring and summer so um, yeah I don't know is anybody else like that do you feel like you have to finish candles or are you happy to just put them away? Let me know down below, along with, again, letting me know what you were burning and melting this past week. All right, you guys, let's get into what's currently happening around the house right now, because it smells pretty darn good. All right, let's get started today in the dining room. And in here, I have farm stand blueberry from Homeworks. If you are not familiar, this was a part of the farm stand uh, trio collection. It was originally released on QVC. Um, it was first released like towards the kind of more beginning days of Homeworks and then it was re-released as a trio 
And when it was re-released, I just kind of went ham and bought uh, like, I think eight of these trios. I am officially down to two of the trios left and I will save those at this point for next year. Um, listen, I love Farm Stand Blueberry. This is one of my all time favorite scents from Homeworks. I think um, besides Gourmands, I do think that Homeworks really tends to do incredibly well with fruity fragrances as well. So I've really fallen in love with this one. And as soon as I finish the last two that I have, I will absolutely turn around. And if they're available, I will purchase I'll purchase more. I will repurchase it until Homeworks stops making it. This is a fabulous blueberry scent. Um, I am on the very last burn. You can kind of see there, like I am just finishing this one up. Um, makes me a little bit sad, but also I'm, your girl is ready to move on to the fall, that's for sure. While I have you guys here, um, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I have been refinishing um, this little piece of furniture. Sorry about the creaking noise. Um, I've, be I've been refinishing this piece of furniture for the last um, couple of weeks. It's finally done and in my dining room. Um, a couple of you had asked to see it once I got it in here, so I'll pop it into this video. Um, let me just take you around here so that you can see the whole thing. Isn't she pretty? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this piece is originally from Europe. Um, it is from, I think, the early uh, 1900s is what the owner told me. Um, and it is from Belgium. So um, I am originally from Europe myself. So I love European furniture, especially older pieces. And I've been looking for something like this for a very long time. Um, I just love how it came out. I tried to, for the most part, just restore it. I didn't want to paint it. I didn't want to, you know, like fix too many of the imperfections because it is a, it's, it's a little piece of history. Um, and I wanted to keep it um, as true to that as I could, but it, it definitely needed a few repairs. So I did those repairs and worked on conditioning the wood and gosh, it just came out beautiful. I love it. Sorry, that's a little bit of a brag there, but I, I love refinishing furniture. I think this is like my next um, old lady thing that I'm gonna get into. Anyway, those of you that wanted to see it, here she is. She will be decorated for fall this year and I cannot wait. I just kind of put some things on there for now because uh, I am getting ready to transition my decor, but I cannot wait to get all of my pumpkins onto this piece. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, here on the kitchen island, I have my beloved Crinkle Seabreeze. Um, this is one of my favorite coconut fragrances of all time. This and Coco Paradise are pro from Bath & Body Works are probably my two favorite coconut fragrances. Um, I, they're so good. Listen, I know that most of us are kind of moving past summer fragrances at this point, but if you're someone who is not a seasonal burner or you like to go into, you know, like September with a lot of your summer home fragrance, um, oof, if you're ordering from Kringle, toss in a sea breeze. I'm telling you, it is so good. It is a more like fresh sea salt air type of coconut, but oh my gosh, is it beautiful. I get a ton of compliments on this one. Everybody loves this particular fragrance. So if you're looking for something that's very guest friendly, something that I would say the vast majority of people seem to really enjoy, check out some sea breeze. Um, I don't think you will be disappointed. But anyway, I have about half of this sea breeze left and I will be rocking this throughout the next couple of weeks to finish it up. Um, and I also have a backup ready to go for the start of next summer. And then um, as long as Kringle makes this one, I will keep repurchasing it like it's my job. All right, you guys, let's move on. Welcome to my laundry room where I have one of my favorite candle crocs. 
no this is not one that I can link I always get questions about it I cannot link this one but I do have two very neutral options linked in the description box down below this particular one is long discontinued but it is a beautiful design isn't it I really think that candle warmers should bring this one back but anyway in this one and in the crock that is in my master bedroom I have uh, the same fragrance going and it is a uh, Kringle uh, unicorn poop from the fantasy collection. So I'm not gonna bother you, uh, bother showing you the croc that's in my master bedroom because like I said, it's got the same thing in it. But I, I love this candle. Listen, I bought a ton of unicorn poop when it was first released. Um, this is very similar to Aqualina's Pink Sugar. And if you were a girly girl in the early 2000s, um, you are probably quite familiar with Pink Sugar. Um, it is such a sweet, feminine, cotton candy type of fragrance. And personally, I love that. <laughs> it's not everybody's cup of tea. This is a very sweet. I think a lot of people would probably call this one borderline cloying, but I'm a big fan. So yes, I did take two brand new candles that were never lit that burn perfectly fine on their own and I put them into candle crocs. I do this quite a bit here on my channel where I will just take candles and in order to maybe get through some of the ones that I want to get through more of in my collection, I will just melt from start to finish. Um, sometimes I will just put candles in my crocs that are misbehaving. Um, I don't view crocking candles as a waste at all. I turn on my crocs and I basically let them go until all of the fragrance oils have dissipated out of whatever candle it is that I plopped in there. Then I turn the warmer off, let the wax harden, and then I remove that candle and sometimes give the crock a break or I will just plop something else in it right away. Um, I get 24 seven continuous uh, fragrance output this way and it's something that appeals to me um, you can certainly turn your crocs off at night um, you can turn them off when you leave for work during the day I will say it does take a couple of hours for a full candle to completely melt um, so I would say if you are just turning your crocs on when you get home from work in the evening you may not get a full melt by the time that you go to bed um, I do work from home, so I just leave these guys on all the time. I'm able to monitor them if there's any issues, but in all the years that I've been doing this, I've never had a single issue by leaving them on 24 seven. So I'm not saying that that's the way that you have to go about it, but that's what I do. Anyway, let's go see what I have under one of my candle lamps. All right, let's check out what is underneath this candle lamp. This is the candle lamp that is at the top of our stairs. Um, this is the only lamp that's going right now. I did turn the other two off because I just finished up my Homeworks coconut shortbread underneath both of the lamps that were downstairs. Um, so I'll give those a break for a couple of days. I actually already have a couple of fall fragrances pulled that I will be putting underneath those lamps once I really dive into the fall fragrances. Um, but at this point, I'm not sure that I need to melt any more of my summer candles, if you will. But I did go ahead and I put one of my beloved Homeworks Blueberry Cheesecakes underneath this uh, lamp at the top of the stairs. This one is performing so well, you guys. Um, let me go ahead and show you that delicious, uh, oh, can you even see it anymore? <laughs> there we go. Um, that delicious full wax pool there. There we go. Now you can see it a little bit better. Um, I love this particular lamp. It's fantastic. It's not one that I had linked down below anymore, but I did get some questions about it last week. So I'll go ahead and link this one as well. It is a very um, beautiful design, that's for sure and um, it works quite well. Um, so anyway, but this fragrance here is so good. I think this is still available at the Homeworks website, I believe. So if it is, um, I would highly recommend checking this one out. It is delicious. It's a great performer when it's burning. The only reason that I'm melting this one is because I wanted to finish up one more of these and 
I've been burning so much of the fall stuff that I feel like the last couple of weeks I really kind of I didn't do as much as I wanted to with my summer candle stash. So in an effort to, again, whittle that collection down a little bit more, I decided to go ahead and pop this one underneath a lamp and it is delicious. It's delightful. I'm really going to miss this one, but um, I have more of her to burn at the start of next spring and summer. So um, like I said, if you haven't tried this one, I highly recommend it. It's a great performer when it's burning and it also really does quite well underneath the lamp as well. So that is everything in terms of Crocs and lamps for this week. So let's get back downstairs and chat about what else I was burning and melting this past week. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour of what's currently uh, smelling up the house today smells pretty good in here if I do say so myself so all right you guys um where do we even want to start <laughs> it has once again been a real hodgepodge week here in terms of home fragrance um we were actually gone on Monday and Tuesday of this week so there were two days where nothing was happening we decided to escape to the Oregon coast um we knew that another heat wave was coming into Portland and so we just thought we'd get away for a couple days um we have some friends who own a beach house and they were super generous and offered us to just like go and stay at it because no one else was there so we took advantage but I did you know miss out on a couple days of burning and melting because of that um, but also it is nice to like, you know, uh, clear your nasal passages every now and then. I was just smelling fresh ocean air and I noticed that when I came back into the house, even though I had turned off all of my, uh, all of my Scentsy warmers, all of my Crocs, all of my lamps since we weren't here, um, when I walked into the house, I was still able to smell <laughs> home fragrance I think it is just like permeated our walls at this point I like this house smells good no matter what but um I love being able to walk in even after a couple days of no burning and no melting and still knowing that my house smells good but I do think it's important to clear your nasal passages every now and then so um, when we came back, I started in on some second burns. I did a first burn of all of the Kringle Halloween candles this past Sunday. And then um, when we came back on Wednesday, I did uh, another burn. And then I shared some initial um, post burn reviews for those of you that were interested <clears throat> in some post burn thoughts, at least on like the fragrances themselves um, prior to the launch. The Kringle Halloween Candles round one has launched now. Um, and they are, at least as of the last time that I checked, they are all still available. So if you're interested in picking any of these up, um, there's definitely a couple that I would say, mm, check them out if you're at all interested because they're just really beautiful scents so let's go through my favorites um like i said check out that community tab post um i kind of broke everything down there there are still in-depth reviews coming that will be up long before halloween i just always try to get to at least the um at least a third of the way through i feel very confident in the performance of these uh, Kringle candles like in this specific jar so not the country candle jars I feel like Kringle has figured these jars out like they they're good to go right they're fine um, so I like to at least however get a third of the way through because sometimes there is you know something that can come up um, sometimes the wicks are maybe a little bit more mushroom toppy um sometimes the wicks might get a little bit shorter it just kind of depends so but i still like to burn them at least a third of the way through so we're not there yet obviously but you will see in-depth reviews long before halloween um they did pour a lot more halloween candles this year i think they have learned from previous years that this is a very popular release for them and um yeah they're they sold out <laughs> and it annoyed a lot of people in the past so this year they made an effort to um, produce much more so if there's something that you're wanting it's probably still available 
Um, you can use my discount code Melanie15. That'll save you 15% off these. Um, I don't think they're going to go into like on sale anytime soon. So um, if you're interested, that'll save you a little bit of money. But anyway, let's start with uh, some of my favorites. There are three that are the real standouts for me out of the six new fragrances. Um, also, Thank you guys so much for all of your kind, amazing feedback on Stella's participation in my first sniff impressions. Honestly, you guys made her feel so good and confident, and she was really nervous about saying the wrong thing in that video. So I just, I have the best subscribers, and it just warmed my heart that you would be so kind to my daughter. And I don't know, it just, it almost like put tears like, <laughs> I just was like, I want to cry. It was just so sweet how generous everybody was and how encouraging. And so she will be back. She will be back for some more first sniff impressions. Um, she did great. So as long as she's not in school and she's just kind of hanging out, I will definitely have her help with more of these videos. So thank you for that. Um, but let's get to talking about these Halloween candles here. So this is the first, just the first one that I grabbed. Um, it's actually probably, I would consider this my second favorite, but this is Thirst. Oh, you guys, if you like a more masculine, not necessarily creepy kind of Halloween fragrance, but still very pretty at the same time, the reason that I use the word pretty is because there is a really healthy dose of amber in here. And I personally think amber is a very beautiful, just very pretty fragrance note. Um, a lot of the personal fragrances, so the perfumes that I gravitate towards, have amber in them. And they just use the loveliest, perfumiest amber in some of these. I love it. I absolutely adore some of these fragrances. This Thirst one is so good. This one also has, so let's just read through the notes really quickly. So this is wood, cognac, patchouli, pepper, amber, and tonka. You do smell patchouli in here, I will tell you that, but it's not the gross, dirty, hippie patchouli. It's, again, a very perfumey take on patchouli. And it just, I think patchouli and amber kind of belong together. They are gorgeous in this scent. There is a bit of a spiciness to this from that pepper note. So it's it's a little bit sharp, but not, I don't consider it too aggressive at all. Um, the cognac note, listen, I don't smell anything boozy in this one. So if you're like me and you typically don't like those boozy scents, I think you're still safe with this one. It just... Again, it gives me that like dark academia library type of vibe where you just think like old leather furniture, wood lined walls and shelves and just a little bit of like almost like a, like a touch of like a smokiness in the room, maybe from someone who had smoked a pipe or something. It's just beautiful. It's, honestly, I think this is a beautiful scent. Now, another really beautiful one, and this is my this is my number one favorite. I think this is actually probably one of my new top five. I know, and it's a Halloween one. Can you believe it? I think this is one of my new top five fragrances of all time when it comes to Kringle, and I am the fruity gourmand girly. I am telling you, that is what I gravitate towards, but when I smelled Skull and Sonnet, it immediately grabbed me. And again, in here, we have that beautiful amber, but this one has bourbon. Don't be afraid of the bourbon note. It's, it's not boozy. It's not boozy to my nose. There's tobacco. This is more of a pipe tobacco, not so much like the cigar tobacco note. Um, there's sandalwood, there's suede, there's amber, there's oak. This, again, reminds me of that dark academia library type vibe where you just think leather chairs, mahogany. Oh, I, I, this is so pretty. It's just, I mean, it's, it's kind of masculine again, but also so pretty. Either one of these, I would, wear, I would wear these as perfumes. Like if Kringle decided to get into the personal fragrance game, first of all, let me help. <laughs> I would love to help with that because you guys know I'm a sucker for the perfumes and this one here is one where I would immediately say, 
put it in a bottle. Put it in a bottle. People are going to douse themselves with it. Well, not everybody. Not everybody would douse themselves with this, but I certainly would. I'll take it. Twinkle, you make it. I buy it. I will buy all of it. I will buy all of it. Anyway, this is beautiful. Check it out. Um, and then this one here, Haunted Hollows. Listen, at first I thought this gave me some bathroom cleaner vibes, you know, fancy lady bathroom vibes. But after burning it, I, I've kind of fallen in love with it as well. This one's really good. It's different from the other two. It's definitely fresher. This has some fur in it, but I don't think this smells like a Christmas scent. Someone had asked me if this like leaned Christmas. I don't think it does by my take, but I mean, if you smell fur and you immediately equate that with Christmas, you might consider this a Christmas scent, but I don't. The notes in this one are wood smoke, fur, herbal, apple, patchouli, and musk. Patchouli, again, is the very pretty perfumey patchouli. Um, the, there is a bit of like a smokiness to this, um, but it's not like a heavy hearth type scent. The fur, I think, the fur is actually one of the first notes that I pick up in here. And the more that I've burned this one, the more I start to detect that apple. It wasn't really present during the first burn, but I think during the second one, I started noticing that a little bit more. It, it does actually make sense in here. It's just a very unique scent. Um, again, I would put this in more of like the like very pretty, maybe borderline perfumey type of Halloween scent, but I love all three. They are delightful. Now, Dreadful Dolly is great. This is a uh, pretty apple forward. It's a very sweet apple scent. Um, I like this one. It's not like, I'm not clamoring after this one, but it does have a pretty creepy label. And um, yeah, oh my God, this thing has fangs. I didn't notice that. Ooh. It has fangs. I'm gonna put that down. Um, these two, listen, <laughs> these two are the definite like creepy, overall vibe winners from the new fragrances so we have a uh, six feet under and then we have carnage if you want your house to smell like a freshly dug uh grave <laughs> if you want wet dirt wet leaves um and i look you guys i frick i burned it i burned it in my house too it made my house smell like a dusty, musty, wet cemetery. And I don't know if you can tell by my decor choices, but that's not normally my vibe. <laughs> it's not normally my vibe at all. But I tell you what, if this is your vibe, if you have a haunted house, like if you make your house a haunted house for Halloween, you need this, you need this in your life. And I rarely say that. I don't I don't think anybody needs any of this stuff. Just so you guys are aware, this is all fun, frivolous, completely unnecessary stuff. We all blow money on wax, which if we really stop and think about it, it's kind of silly. We're basically just lighting money on fire. <laughs> the wax dissipates. Um, you know, in the case of obviously wax melts, these the wax doesn't dissipate, but I do make a heck of a lot of fire starters with my wax melts though. So, but yeah, um, these are all frivolous fun. You don't need any of this stuff, but listen, if you are a Halloween person, you should probably check out Kringle Halloween if you haven't yet. Creepy is like, that's the name of their game. That's for sure. Now there's some other things coming that aren't quite as creepy. So I hope you guys are excited. But anyway, this is Carnage. Um, let's take a look at the label do you see that label so that's exactly what this smells like you see that that bloody knife there mm -hmm. okay first of all i kind of smell the iron pills that i have to take every single day because i am apparently severely anemic now at this point in life um yeah this kind of smells like a combination of my iron pills um some blood uh some metal there's a very distinct metallic note in this one um it's potent potent is what i would 
that's how I would describe this one. So there is, okay, this is, this is one of the ones that does have that more like dirty hippie patchouli. Um, and it makes sense in this particular fragrance. Um, the rose, I do think there is a little bit of like a dead rose note, like a rose that has run its course and is now in the process of rotting. Um, I know that smell very well because I was a florist for over 10 years. I actually own my own floral design company. I'm not doing it anymore. Um, listen, 10 years of doing weddings and uh, your girl was done. I had to find something new to do with my life. Um, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. But I'm very familiar with the smell of dead and decaying flowers because sometimes I would take a few days to clean up my studio after an event. And especially during the summer, once I turned off the air conditioner in there, like it just got crazy hot. And so things would decay pretty quickly. And that dead rose smell is a very distinct fragrance. And it's in here. It's totally in here. If you like the smell of dead roses, uh, check it out. Also, if you take iron pills, let me know if, if this smells like your iron pills. <laughs> it certainly smells like mine. All right, let's keep going with some other candles. I also was burning a lot of the fall Kringle and country candles. I didn't drag them all in here. They're all kind of scattered throughout the house right now. So, um, but yes, I was still burning those. Tomorrow you will be seeing two candle reviews and then also you see you see those candles right there those are actually candles those are those were a pr uh item that was sent to me i'm really excited to share those with you so stay tuned for tomorrow the first video will be regarding those candles right there and then uh later on throughout the day i will have a homeworks candle review for you and then also a country candle review so more of those Kringle and Country Candle reviews are coming. Um, I'm, try I'm trying to get in as much as I can. So, but one of the re reviews that you will see. All right, sorry about that little interruption there. Um, bear with me for a second as I try to remember where we left off. Um, so I know we were talking about banana chocolate chip pancakes from Homeworks. Um, I believe I mentioned this was a PR item. I want to be very upfront about that. So Homeworks did send this one to me for free. Um, I do think that this is a repackage of the uh, autism candle, uh, the autism awareness candle that Homeworks put out a couple of years ago. Um, I need to go back and watch my review of that one. Um, like I said, it's been a little while since I've burned that particular one. One thing I will say that I do very distinctly remember is that I don't remember the burn being the best on the autism candle, but the burn on this has been really, really good. Um, the strength and throw have been quite good as well. So um, you can see I'm definitely at the halfway point. I've had no problems with the wicks or really anything with this candle. So I'm excited to share my review of this one. If you like banana fragrances, I think this is one that could actually kind of go into the fall. It's a very warm, very cozy gourmand. So this is one where I think I might, I think I might need another one of this. Like even though banana is definitely a very like summertime fruity type of note for me, because of how delicious this smells, I, I, I want more of it. This is great. They did a good job with this. So you see an in-depth review of that tomorrow. Um, also, I have been burning my farm stand peach. There she is. Um, so good. Listen, I love this one. This came from the farm stand trios that I ordered from QVC many moons ago. Um, I think it was back in 2021 that I ordered a bunch of these. And it is now, we're halfway through 2024 and I, I'm still working my way through these trios of candles that I purchased multiples of from QVC. Man, you guys, the dent that I put in my Homeworks summer collection this year, I cannot tell you how proud I am. Um, I'm actually getting ready this weekend to move what I think are going to be at least half of my Kringle candles upstairs. And that means that once I get going on the Homeworks fall candles, which I have a pretty extensive amount of, 
once I really get going on those, then I can move the other half of my Kringle candle collection upstairs and then they will all be in one spot. And I will have done it. I will have met my goal and I'm so stinking excited about it. I can't even, it feels so good. I'm gonna have so much room in random closets and drawers and I just, I'm not gonna know what to do with myself. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk Crumb Couture from Sniff. Um, I am almost at the halfway point, you guys. I love this candle. I love this candle so stinking much. Um, and it is burning like a dream. It is burning like a dream. Um, I will say it looks like the wicks are kind of wonky, but they're definitely still far enough away from the, the side of the glass to where I don't have any concerns. But yeah, there is... A slight funky wick placement over here but again it's still far enough away also this does not get it gets very hot but not like unusually hot and this is also really thick glass so I feel like this one helps to retain this particular glass helps to retain the heat that is produced by these particular wicks even though they look kind of small um this this fills my whole house this candle fills my entire downstairs i'm talking dining room entryway i can smell it in the laundry room um if i have it in the entryway it'll also fill the upstairs this is a fabulous very expensive candle but it's a fabulous candle and i will repurchase it so if you're if you're on the fence i would say maybe start with the eight ounce just to make sure that you love it um but after that i just go for the big size because one it burns forever like i've been burning this for hours and hours and hours of my life and like i said i am just at the halfway point like barely at the halfway point hours of my life <laughs> i've burned this candle and this is all that i have achieved i still feel pretty good about it actually because one i'm definitely going to be burning this throughout the fall Jelly Donut from Kringle will also be a part of my fall burning routine. That's one of those fragrances and this one here that I think are great year round. Like I would burn this in the spring, the summer, the fall, maybe not so much around Christmas. I might give it a break during Christmas, but pretty much most of the year I would burn the heck out of that. And finally, you guys, um, let's talk a little bit of Scentsy. So like I said, we were gone at the beginning of the week, so I had the Scentsy warmers off. Um, but when we came back, I switched to this combo here and um, a little bit of this as well. Listen, if you have both of these, you have to put them together. Um, this is Happy Birthday, which is in my club, and this is Cake Me to Paradise, which is part of the current spring-summer catalog. Um, Cake Me to Paradise is a really delicious, like, tropical fruity scent, which gives me no cake note at all. There's just not a cake note in here, but I love the fruity goodness, right? But when I pair it with Happy Birthday, which to my nose smells like Funfetti birthday cake. Um, some people get marble cake from this one, but I feel like it's not really worth arguing about that right now because it's not currently available. Um, but yeah, there are some people that think this smells like chocolate marble cake, and there are people like me who think it's who thinks that it smells more of like a vanilla, like Funfetti birthday cake type of concoction. If you smell something completely opposite of those two, please share your thoughts down below. But I tell you what, these two together just just do it this puts that cake note into the cake made of paradise and it is heavenly just trust me if you have them please pair them together and then report back because i just i just don't think that you can go wrong at all with either of these they're both in my club so for all eternity i will be doing this combo it is delicious um yeah, really great. And then also um, one of my warmers got three cubes <laughs> of the Jam and Jubilee, which again, this was a scent of the month for, was it June? I think it was June. Don't quote me on that. I don't sell Scentsy. I buy all of this from my best friend, Lisa. I will put Lisa's uh, information down below. If you would prefer to have a consultant that is closer to where you live so maybe you can meet up with that person and actually smell things prior to purchasing um go to the main sensi website type in your zip code where it asks you 
for that information and then it will actually spit out all of the consultants that are within uh, a certain mile radius of you and you can you know filter through those and figure out who you connect with the most so um but anyway um i use my best friend because i love supporting her and this jam and jubilee man get out of here if you love raspberry this is so good this to me smells very similar to the raspberry rose from bath and body works which i absolutely adore so yeah good stuff here big fan um we will be seeing uh definitely a lot more scentsy next week i already look i already pulled out two more because i want to keep doing this little combo here so you'll be seeing more of this next week and i'll definitely finish up these raspberry and then i'll try to go through a few more of my summer bars but again i'm ready to just like i'm ready to cut it with the summer stuff where are you at with all of that are you are you ready to transition i'm ready to transition i'm here for it so anyway you guys i really appreciate you being here today and uh for enjoying this very lovely dose of pug asmr that alf provided us with um subscribe if you're new don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned like i said tomorrow for some new candles from a new company and um i will have more news on more kringle stuff very shortly for you so and thank you again for being so supportive of Stella. it means the world to me i'll see you guys in the next one take care Toodaloo.